Hey guys, it's Megan and I am back from Florida. I can't believe I am back in my puffy jacket and it's 41 degrees, which is about half the temperature that it was in Florida. It was amazing there. We were in Fort Lauderdale visiting my Aunt Karen and my cousins and my Uncle Doug and that was so much fun to be there on Christmas Day with them and we played this crazy game called Pencil Nose that Oh my gosh, if you have like a group of people like coming over or you're like going somewhere for a party or get together, get Pencil Nose. It is the funniest, craziest game ever. I will like insert a clip or two from us playing because we had so much fun. Dollar sign. Yeah, uh, similar. Money. Money. Dollar. Money. Money. Money, okay, ah. good. I guessed it. I take all credit. <laughs> Video game controller. Uh, stalactite. Rock. Yeah, Batman. Batman. A dripping, oh, a dripping oh, spot. Oh, oh, oh. Dream? Dripping Your dream, spot. dream! Dream! <laughs> <laughs> what? I have no idea. What the heck? <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> a crown. Uh, <laughs> bars. Somebody behind bars. Pumpkin! 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 Really? Pumpkin! Really? Pumpkin! 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 Cherry. Uh, Apple. Uh, Apple. Uh, bomb. Bomb. Yeah. Cherry bomb. Acorn. Acorn! Yeah! 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 Who knew I had a talent for drawing with my nose? Because I don't have a talent for drawing with anything else. So it was just like really fun time. And I'm glad we had that game that Aunt Sue brought or got for the kids. And it was just a really great time spent with all of them just like chatting and laughing and playing games. And then we went to Marco Island to my Aunt Sue and Uncle Don's rental house, which I wish was their actual house because we've stayed with them two years in a row there. And it feels like it's their house. So it was so much fun to be with them and just have a really relaxing few days going seashell hunting, which we found the most amazing shells in Marco Island. Apparently it wasn't even like that good of like shell like shells out on the beach compared to other times but we found some really beautiful ones i don't think any of them got broken on the flight thankfully we like packed them really carefully or we tried to um so we just had a great time hanging out with aunt sue and she is officially a subscriber of mine so thank you aunt sue she watches all my videos but she never had like a youtube account so she subscribed officially which was really exciting and it was just like so fun to like bond over that together and I just appreciate you watching all my videos Aunt Sue I love you and it was just a great um, few days I wish it would have lasted a lot longer especially because it's so dreary and miserable here in Pennsylvania I pretty much slept for like 10 hours or more last night it the worst part about going away is leaving my bed like I really don't sleep very well in any other bed other than my own and so I didn't get the best rest during vacation but coming home to my own bed was amazing and I slept until 10 40 this morning <laughs> So I'm very thankful to have the day off and tomorrow I have off and the next day I have off so It'll be a really nice like short week at work I'll only have to work two days and then it'll be the weekend again. Thank God because I don't know how much I can <laughs> expect from myself um, considering I'm in total vacation mode. So I just went to my P.O. box and there was nothing there but we're going to get our mail that was held um, while we were away so maybe I'll have something fun to show you guys then. Um, I think I'm going to go to Starbucks because I got to have a lot of like ice drinks in Florida which was awesome and at the airport at the Philly airport at their Duncan they had the only place in the world that still had toasted gingerbread latte so i got to try it it was incredible it was like a marshmallowy gingerbread oh my god 10 out of 10 i really regret not getting it like earlier because it sold out everywhere um so i got to have that and then other like ice drinks but I think I'm going to get the Salted Caramel Mocha today, um, a hot drink, because I'm absolutely freezing here. 
And so I modify it to two pumps of mocha sauce and three pumps of toffee nut. So that is like what I've decided that the ratio is right for me because normally they put four pumps of each of those sauces and syrups and that's just like a lot. So I think I'm gonna get that then I have a pickup at Target that I'm gonna do, and I just ordered, oh my God, I have so much to tell you guys. And I just ordered a Nespresso because it was 30% off, and then it was an additional 30% off, which was like half off in the end. So I finally got a Nespresso machine. I'm so excited about it, but it's like, all different pods like it's the Nespresso Virtuo line so if you have a favorite like Nespresso Virtuo pod let me know because there's like a lot but there's also not a lot so I'm gonna have to decide what to get but it's like raining here which honestly is kind of nice because the only times it rained in Florida or like little drizzles and this is kind of like the perfect cozy day I'm gonna get more books that's what I'm picking up at Target um, I'll show you guys what I get oh shoot I was gonna bring a book to return oh no I totally forgot cuz we were like switching around our cars and cuz I got to park in the garage which I never get to park in the garage um, but my dad needed to park in the garage to have his car back safe and sound in the garage and um since i was like rushing out i forgot to bring my christmas shopaholic book my the one that i bought um because you guys told me it's part of like a series and it's like way into the series and it probably wouldn't make sense so i probably will <sighs> I guess I'll swing back home and get it and then go back out to Target because I kind of have to pass my house anyway and then I'll be able to do both those things. But yeah, I will see you in a little bit. The thing I missed the most after my bed was driving around in my car. I love just driving. I love like having the freedom to just go wherever I want and oops, bumps, ah! <laughs> Oh my god train tracks um, and Just being able to like go somewhere when I want to is so fun Like I didn't miss really anything, but just being able to like drive and listen to my music is just so much fun and We had a really awesome rental car. We had the BMW X7 which is like the newest BMW and I've never even like been in a BMW let alone like had it for several days like my dad drove the whole time the BMW was incredible if you're like really wealthy and you want to get a new car the BMW X7 was where it's at it was so sexy I loved it and it was just an awesome SUV but yeah so I am about to get home to pick up the book that I'm supposed to have in the first place so I can go to Target and return it and get more books <laughs> So this is the book that I'm returning, Christmas Shopaholic. Isn't that just the cutest looking book ever? But apparently it's in the Shopaholic series, which I just bought it like blindly. I didn't even read the back. So <sighs> I'm going to return that. And I wanted to show you guys, Alyssa for Christmas got me one of these like Bath and Body Works little like clips that you put in your car. And it's like a Christmas cactus, which I love cactus. And um, it's the scent, tis the season. It smells so good. It's like um, cinnamon apple. And I'm not one to like have a lot of like scented stuff around. So I was worried it would be too strong, but it is so nice and I love it. So thank you, Alyssa. I just got back from Target. They make it so painless to like return stuff, pick stuff up. It's amazing. So what I got was the To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. It was cheaper to get the trilogy than it was to buy the second two separately because Zuri gave me the first one for Christmas, or not Christmas, for my birthday. And I read it within 24 hours on my trip. I read it like the last night we were there and then it's like all I did on the plane and like driving to the airport and stuff like that. 
it was really good and really cute it's like very lighthearted and stuff it's not like super like intense or serious but it's really sweet and I really really liked the first book so I got um, this trilogy so there's um, two more that I haven't read yet and I'm so excited to at least dig into one of them today because I might be able to finish it in 24 hours again. I'm not sure because when I'm filming this is December 29th and is that what today is or is it the 30th? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused on what day it is. It's the 30th. So I really would love to finish reading this book today, like, or tomorrow, I guess I should say, um, because then I'll have read 10 books in 2019. So yeah, I'm going to start reading P.S. I Still Love You, and um, this is so exciting. So it has like a different, the um, books have different covers than like the one I have. So this was like the original cover, and then they like redid it with the actress that played Lara Jean. So this is the next one I'll read, and then the last one is called Always and Forever Lara Jean. So that is what I am probably going to do today and I did finally watch the movie I never had watched it before and <laughs> the book is so much better than the movie like ugh, I am realizing more and more how like everyone is always right that the book is better than like the adaptation and I've been reading like a lot of things that have been either like have been already adapted to film or will be adapted to film and it's just hard I think to adapt a book into a TV show or a movie because you can get like so much more detail and like you're more omniscient in a book because you can understand what they're thinking and in a movie it's like unless they do a voiceover or something you don't really know what they're thinking and yeah so I really preferred the book to the movie but the movie was pretty cute and so I'm excited to dig into the second one and see how quickly I can read that but I do want to film a few videos today maybe just two maybe just one I don't know I'm kind of in not a lazy mood but just not really wanting to do too too much today because it's like rainy and nice and I just want to be cozy in bed so we'll see what I do in terms of videos um, but I am going to do a video about like a reading challenge I'm gonna do in 2020 that I'm really excited about so definitely stay tuned for that but we are going to go pick up some Moe's for lunch because they do a deal on Mondays a burrito chips and a drink for $6.99 which is really good for Moe's so we are probably gonna go pick that up and I'm gonna get vanilla coke I'm so excited I decided not to get Starbucks today because I'm gonna get soda instead I try not to do like both in one day but yeah I'm just so stoked because Moe's is my favorite and I haven't had it for quite a while I just um, shot my stash for products to use in January. So I'm going to go over all of these and pick my products for February at the end of January. But just to give you guys like a sneak peek of what I'm going to be using in January. Obviously I can use like other products too, but this is how I kind of organized it with like cream shadows, more cream shadows, two lipsticks, um, some cream blushes, different like face products. And then I picked out a lot of different eyeshadows and palettes that I want to use more so that I think will go with like my vibe in January, which is more like cool tones and stuff. So I'm really excited about shopping my stash every month and I have my new mirror <laughs> and um, I don't have the lights on it right now, but I need to like clean my desk off or my vanity and I'm working through some last products for 2019. This is gonna be done tomorrow. This is gonna be done tomorrow. I'm so excited. I have my empties bin and then that bag is my makeup empties. So I can't wait to like dump that out and go through everything. But I think I'm going to um, read now. I filmed two videos and just did this. So I feel like I got my kind of like beauty 
like stuff out of the way and I really wanted to do this so I had like an itch to do it and I was like okay just do it because if you start reading you'll only be thinking about like reorganizing and picking out your makeup so I did that first and so now I'm going to sit down for a little bit and read it is oh my gosh it's 4 45 already oh my god since I woke up so late I just don't know where today went but Mose is really del delicious for lunch and so I'm just having a really nice like chill day at home which has been much needed and I can't wait to keep reading and see what happens in the second book of the series. We're watching Project Runway season two! Thank god I have it on DVD! <laughs> Hey you guys, so it's the next day now and I just finished filming. I did my December empties and my year of makeup empties. I have them sitting in front of me. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, but I think my sister and I are going to go out and get lunch and I have to pick up a few things for Caitlin's New Year's Eve party tonight. So I'm gonna do that. But I wanted to show you I am almost done with the um, sequel so I probably only have about 50 pages left so I will definitely finish oh, I thought it was falling off of like my thing and then gonna knock over my water or something oh my god so I'm definitely going to finish that today after we run our errands I'm just gonna have like a chill like afternoon and then I'm gonna make um, our little smoky appetizer for the party but yeah I'm just feeling so productive this morning I did my hair with the beach waver and I just love it I think it's so like awesome to have like texture to my hair I like always wanted wavy hair but um yeah it's really fun Anyway, I'm gonna go because I'm sure Rachel is waiting for me downstairs or she's playing video games and has no like concept of time. I'm not sure. We're at Target and I have a bag full of candy. <laughs> and Rachel has her arms yeah. full of candy. Yeah, so you didn't grab a bag or anything. Like a we don't have a cart, but we have all of our loot. This is all 70% off. And we have like my favorite like, candy. And like those things were like less than $2. Less than $2. This was the best, oh wait, it's in here. This was the best deal of all. This huge bag for like three or four. Three, dollars. yeah. And then we have like gift bags, all 70% off. And then we got these for like gifts and stuff. Cause like it's not, I mean it was a Christmas tree, but like whatever. <laughs> it's delicious any time of year. So, we're just very proud of ourselves. We almost got into it. <laughs> there was like a lady that was like, watch it, I'm coming through. <laughs> and we were so, like, okay. We already got the stuff. Yeah, we already got it, so it was fine. <laughs> okay, I got something really awesome in the mail that I need to show Rachel immediately. Come oh, here. Me? <laughs> <gasps> yeah! <gasps> it's the Lisa Frank BTS Oh my magazine. god, you got that. <laughs> you had to like order it online. Oh, and it's so nice. Oh, like I had to do it. I forgot about it completely. I bought it <laughs> like so long, long ago. ago. Oh my god. That is so cool in the Lisa Frank font. Yeah. Literally something I grew up with and then something I like now. Oh my god, J-Hope. Sugar RM! Oh my god. And they are styled by Louis Vuitton. Oh, this is just <laughs> priceless. <gasps> Oh my god, mom's like gonna free. Fashionable pajamas. Yeah. Jen looks really good. Yeah. That is so awesome. Oh, Jungkook. Oh my god. This is, oh my god. <laughs> What's the horse? V, that is everything. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. It's so cool. Oh, the cover is I know. Nice. Worth it just for that with them all smiling. <laughs> That was awesome. Yay! <laughs> so happy. I also just opened my Christmas present from Chloe. Thank you so much, Chloe. And I especially appreciate your note and the Barnes & Noble gift card. And she was like, get a new book, nerd. <laughs> Which is just amazing. I love it. I love Chloe so much. So obviously I'm going to have to buy a new book with that gift card. 
I don't know what I'm gonna buy, but I'll figure it out. And I'm just about to sit down and read for a little bit so I can finish the second book of the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. Such a long-winded name. Um, but Chloe also gave me a like little mask set. I've always wanted to try the Peter Thomas Roth like mask sets, like, but they're always so expensive. So I'm so excited about that. And then she gave me chocolate, which obviously I need more of. You can never have too much. So thank you so much, Chloe. And I'm especially excited to pick out a new book because I have so many on my list. So I finished the book earlier. P.S. I still love you. And quite surprised with the ending, to be honest. I preferred this book over the first book. Thought it had more like interesting like plot and like more interaction with like different characters that I really, really liked. So I'm excited to read the final book. I don't know if I'll start it tomorrow or not, but um, I'm really happy that I was able to read 10 book eight, book aids, I almost said decade, 10 books this year in 2019. I can't believe today's New Year's Eve. I'm like so confused, but um, Rachel just helped me make our little smokies like pigs in a blanket. So I'm going over to Caitlin's in about an hour like 45 minutes ish so I'm going to like touch up my makeup a little bit I don't want to go like too too dark and smoky but you know I might and I have to pick out my outfit but we're gonna eat like pasta <laughs> so I don't want to wear it while we're eating but then I also don't want to take off my shirt and mess up my makeup so I'm like what to do, what to do, what to do. But it's not that big of a deal. So we'll just figure it out and yeah, but I'm kind of like feeling, oh my God, I feel a little bit rushed um, now that it's already 5.45 and I feel like I have a lot to do to get ready, but it'll just be a fun night. Nothing like too serious or anything, just hanging out at Caitlin's. So I'm really, really excited about it. I'm getting together everything for tonight. I have these hats that I got last year, crowns. I have two of them. So whoever wants to use them can use them. And then I have these like party hats as well. And I'm bringing my Mr. Narwhal um, shot glass that I gave one to Alyssa and one to Caitlin this year. I have little like solo cup shot glasses, pong balls and dice. And then for alcohol, I'm bringing my favorite Captain Morgan private stock because I just have like a little bit left of my Sailor Jerry's. I um, alternate between the two, but I think I prefer the private stock. And then I'm bringing this wine that I showed you guys that has like the shimmer in it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So I can't wait to try this because I've never had it before. Then my favorite ginger ale is Seagram. So I put that with the Captain Morgan and it's delicious. I'm about to head over to Caitlin's and I just touched up my makeup. I really, really like it with the Kaleidos Astro Pink palette. I just have in some of my big hoops and I touched up my hair and then I have, oh my gosh, I sprayed my perfume like right on my shirt and now it's like a big stain. Typical, but um, I don't know if I'll be able to film a lot tonight. So I'm just going to wrap up the vlog here and I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you have an amazing new year. Welcome to 2020, I can't believe it. And I will see you guys really soon.